You know those meals that really just like hit the spot? Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they just like yeah, as soon as you're done eating it, you just sit back and you're just like <sighs> worth it. Worth it in every way. I I'll, I'll say this. Whenever I whenever I get whenever I like get pancakes at uh, IHOP, I don't know what it is. I, whether you know just how fluffy they are, you know the syrup being perfectly warm, or whether or not they sprinkle crack cocaine on top of it. I don't know what it is that makes it so good, but it, it's amazing. And those are always the ones that hit the spot for me. And then of course there's also. The, uh, I don't know what it is, but Huddle House's waffles. Yeah, Huddle House's waffles are better than Waffle House's waffles. Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do about it? it uh, well, actually, now I think about it, Huddle House isn't a, around here anymore. They used to have one uh, down at uh, Exit 19. Now it's gone. But we do have two Waffle Ooh. Houses now. There's one, like, near Wise. Yeah, I know, I know that one, I but... Say, I haven't seen one of those in forever. I know, right? I didn't even know you guys had them up here. Oh, yeah. Huddle Houses, uh, they were... You know, we have one in Wise. That's pretty much like the 24-hour eatery up there. Hm. And then we had one at Exit 19. Then we used to have... I think there's one in Big Stone as well, but I can't remember... Uh, but now it looks like they've been replaced by Waffle House. Which is a 42 minute drive. Yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad, but I ain't driving 42 minutes to, to do that. But Waffle House, uh, they're, they're, their waffles are alright. But you don't go to Waffle House for the waffles or the food. You go there to, like, it's like a nature preserve. You go there to see the meth heads, you know, just like tripping out in the parking lot and you know, I've that, been to Waffle House like twice in the last couple of weeks. Uh huh. And how many meth heads have you seen in there? Not many. But that's not zero. But it was like because that was the only thing that was open. Yeah. And that's... it was before midnight, so. Oh. That's, yeah. That's probably why I didn't see anything. Ah, uh, you didn't see like the night crawlers. I've been to one in Greensboro, though, and. It had a freaking walk-up window. Oh, and like neat. cops sitting out in the parking lot, and like that one was interesting, <laughs> to, to say the least. Yeah. So, for me, my Waffle House experience, like I, I went there one time during the daytime with my like like my family at one point, and it was a fun time. You know, me like me and my family were cracking jokes and all that. At the funny stuff on their menu and stuff like that. But then uh, eventually I got older and I went to a Waffle House at like 3 in the morning. And who oh boy. That's the worst time to go. <laughs> I walk, okay. I'm there. I order my food. And my waitress, you know, she comes up and she's just like... Hey, honey, how you doing tonight? Welcome to the Waffle House. And it's just like, I'm like, you all right? She's like, I've been on, I'm doing a double shift, and I'm just, I'm just not <laughs> feeling it right now. And I'm like, and I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. And she's like, it's all right, honey. Just don't worry about it. Uh, and then all of a sudden, like, she puts my order in, and they start making my food. Mm -hmm. But she goes to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And then she comes back out of the bathroom. You want to talk about a complete 180 in terms of like how she was feeling. She went from, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't do this. Just be like, hey, honey, how's it going? Like, you, you, did, you doing all right? Like, do you need anything? Do you need a, you need a anything else to drink? Need more butter? Do you need this? Do you need that? And I went to the bathroom after that, and I walked in there, and I'm like. Yep, that's a meth. That's that is the smell of uh, burning meth. Uh, yeah, it's bad that I know what that smells like because I've I've been around it a fair amount. Not that I have partook. I have never done methamphetamines before, but I have been around plenty of people who have partook of it, 
And it is... I've done prescription amphetamine because I have a prescription for it. That's true. That is true. You have... You have I've never done methamphetamine. So I've never got it. No. No. Of course not. Uh, so, anyway, memes that hit the spot. Much like how that meth hit that woman's spot. That, that was a bad analogy. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Jesus Christ. I know. I'm terrible. So... Floofy. Oh, yeah. Angry Floof. Yeah, Angry Floof. But we have memes that hit the spot by Memer Man. Let's just check it out. Here we go. He said, here we go. Here we go. I thought I, thought I didn't start. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Everyone in this car has been inside of you at one point or another. <laughs> <laughs> That there was um, an illegal gambling operation going on just down the street. From Hell where yeah! You live. No. What? It was illegal. Oh no! Ooh! Bro. Oh no! <laughs> Boom! Nice! No! Hello? This is the German Coast Guard. No. What are you thinking about? <laughs> I've seen that like three times now. And it's still funny. Yeah. Oh, yep. Good throw! What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> Good throw! How did they do that? That's that wet not paper what I was expecting. That's, a, that's wet toilet paper. They basically <laughs> oh, wetted the toilet paper and just... <laughs> I'm going to defend myself. Oh, Be free. My God. Oh, oh, fuck. Love trains. Yeah. I like trains. Oh, rest in peace. What? What is it with the? What is it with those memes coming back around now? Like those Asdif movie. I don't know. I like trains. It's the first time I think I've seen one. Well, no, because it was in uh, the Soviet Womble video. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. It was in the Soviet Womble video. Now it's here. Damn. It's been ten years since Ed passed away, and. Now, he's recycling back into the meme cycle. That's funny. I like trains. Bye, Eddie. Oh no. Oh no, I see that. Whoa! That was crazy. No, this won't work. No. <laughs> Smack. The cat's like, don't you even think Do you about not it. Have friends? A significant other? A lass? I mean, I mean, I have some friends, you know, but like, they're just not online right now. They're all sleeping while I'm on here doing Omegle. You know, that's what I used to say too when I get no b. Mr. Kitty. Wow. You just said I get no b. Hey. Wow. Oh, wait, you're kind of well, cute. Are you single? Mm -hmm. There's my answer. So you don't got no single <laughs> bed on here. Sad. Oh. Damn. Friday night too to get that on the second. All right, this is the best resolution <laughs> I can get with Tourette. Jesus. Holy oh, shit! I didn't try it. <laughs> what the fuck? I wonder what's over there. <laughs> oh, poor dude. <laughs> Imagine, so that's messed up to do that right in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Fortnite. <laughs> oh, Brosidon. King of the Brosian.
<laughs> Every time. Amigo, ahí te traje el oso. No, amigo, tranquilo. Bro. <laughs> That's actually dangerous, man, because I've met people who have, like, the concave chest like that, and they're more prone for, like, heart problems because of it. Ugh. What are they supposed to do about it, though? There's a corrective surgery that you can get to basically, like, mm. like stretch the sternum back out to where it can, like, it won't be concave anymore. Who is Ryan? Uh-oh. Look at the audacity of this man. He gave 1,000 people hearing aids. What about 1,001? Imagine how he'll feel when he hears about this. How do you feel about Mr. Beast giving everybody hearing aids, but not you? What? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the panda. <laughs> Look at that. They're trying so hard to get him. Kapow, kapow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yo, how I work this? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Damn. Jesus is into extreme sports. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Krabs. No. No. He's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> or not. Way to go. <laughs> Did anyone tell me what happened to JFK? No. Correct. Yeah, try to move now, mother. <laughs> oh god she who has kissed more men who snores the most <laughs> who ta talks to What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Fourth of July. Happy birthday. <laughs> Little monkey. Damn. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Worst timing. Oh, give him the chest scratches, yes. <laughs> He's going on a journey. Oh, shit. He is going on a journey. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. What are you doing? What? Oh. <laughs> Tying him up. Oh, bro. What are you, bro. 
<laughs> you little shit. It's like you let that little dog watch Empire Strikes Back and he got ideas from seeing what they did for the at Yeah. Excuse me, Arthur. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Now, hold on. Why this bee got fur? I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. Never seen a fuzzy my... bee? Oh, s***. <laughs> hey! Kitty! 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 No. He's making the rounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be free. I'm sure his owners aren't going to be too happy about that. No, I don't think so. I see it. I see it. Sugar glider. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of mean. The cat's never going to be able to catch that. human. I require assistance. Good recording and help it. <laughs> I think he's wanting to. It's just deep. Okay. Yoink. Yeah, that room's lovely, mate. Jesus, would you just take a look at that <laughs> view? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm gonna seize. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Chalky. Ooh. What the? What kind of prescription is this? That's literally the edge of the universe. Never blown a motor. Never blown a motor. Yep. But uh, I've blown a trans. Wait, which car? Uh, no, it's a he, he him. <laughs> Damn it, Tyler! Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> I knew that's what it, where that was going as soon as he said that. I was just like, oh no. Nuni Om. Wow, dude has not seen his father since 1996. That's cold. Wow, I see everything up here. Even your, even your what? Even your what? I can't you see me, man. Press like the eye in the top or something to turn those off. Uh, so one of the buttons somewhere turns them off. Maybe it's in the settings. Annotations. No, that's the, uh... Wow. Yeah. Kredsky. Damn it. Uranium with 20 billion calories. Satan clowns you because you died on TikTok for a challenge. <laughs> Jesus. Holy crap. <laughs> Squirrel about to murder that viper. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Right? Oh, man. All right. So, yeah. This was a. Uh... Is this is <laughs> okay? Those did hit the spot, but I'm not sure if it was the spot that I wanted hit. <laughs> There's a part of my brain where it's just like, uh, I'm like that confused ape looking at looking at magic for the first time. Like, yeah, but all right. This uh, yeah, this was a pretty good meme comp. Uh, Memer man once again bringing the heat and. I guess, yeah, welcome back once again. And I hope that you don't go away anytime soon. You know, uh, knock on wood. But anyway, until next time, everyone, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Luke. We'll see y'all later, everybody. Peace.